To those of us we are meeting for the first time, my name is Dan Karioki. I am born again, and I love the Lord for uh, giving me the grace uh, to keep on moving uh, in the work of salvation. Buenas, if you were sana. Well, my wife is Rosemary. Rosemary Tafadari, yes. Buenas, if you were sana. I want to take this opportunity to appreciate uh, our mom and dad in the house for the opportunity to give me this opportunity uh, to share and to bring the word of God uh, this day. We have indeed not very long time, but the time that we have, uh, we'll share it uh, wisely. Amen. I want to talk to us about the expected end. You may call, you may call it the expected end end. Um, we may also talk of uh, testimony. Testimony. You know, after God has taken you through something and that turns to be a testimony. However, more often than not, we realize, uh, I don't know whether you are like me, the many testimonies that I hear is I was walking and the motorbike came and it almost hit me and I just jumped and that's the miracle and that testimony. Whereas we have lots and lots of testimony, isn't it? If you agree with me, say amen. 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 Um, Jesus said in Luke chapter 21 and verse uh, 13, I don't know if it can be projected. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. It shall turn to you for a testimony. You walk with God, but it's not without challenges. It's not without challenges. And this time round, the disciples were going out. And as they ministered, because they were sent to do so, they encountered challenges. But nevertheless, the Bible says, or it reminds them, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. You may be going through unusual pain, disappointment, or hardship today, but I say to you in the name of the Lord, Peace into your life and over that situation now in Jesus' name. And I boldly declare, it shall turn to you for a testimony. Amen? Uh, if you uh, look at the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 1, uh, verse 11, God's talk or, or, or the Bible tells us of the expected, that God has good plan for us. And it's for expected end. Amen? And that's what we're calling a testimony. When friends, family, even money fails, we must embrace the comfort of scriptures. We must hold on to what the word of God says. And it says, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I fear no evil because God is with me. That's Psalms 23. And David says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow, you know, I fear no evil. And as we walk in this very life, God expects us, God expects us to face challenges. And those challenges, when they come, we are not supposed to give up. The other day, we, we, my wife and Aunt Kimani and Aunt sang. I am at you, we 
I mean, that song is so encouraging. It's like, uh, as you keep on waiting upon God, the, that, that vocabulary of losing, of, you know, giving up, it is not in your vocabulary. Now, you know, that's what we actually can say. It's like, if it is in your vocabulary, I would request you this morning, you know, to write it and fold it up the way you can't see it. You, you, you tear it out such that you will not be in that lot that gives up. We know weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, Psalms 30 and verse 5 says. We'll go through some pain for some time. And at the end, you will experience peace. And the Bible is full of stories of where people encountered challenges. And at the end of the day, they had testimony about their work. I wore a badge. I am a testimony. I don't know whether it can be focused. I am a testimony. Because all that I am, it's a testimony. I am a testimony of God's faithfulness. And we are a testimony of God's goodness and God's faithfulness this morning. If we arose from our beds and by faith we walked to this sanctuary, we are a testimony. No matter what the situation you are going through, you are a testimony. Why? Because in you, you are looking forward for that ex a good expected end. We, you have wept for so long, but right now the sun of righteousness has risen uh, and brought you mourning and healing in his wings. Surely, as we have prayed, we hold on to that, that healing has come. Healing to that situation that you've gone through or you're going through, healing is coming and you are a testimony. On yeah, last, 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 last Saturday, as we were coming from Bugoma, we experienced brake failure as we went down the, the Salga Hill, Sachangwan. It was around uh, 7 p.m. We just we drove so well fast because we were trying to catch up with um, our uh, it was late and we were trying to beat the curfew here in Nairobi and we were driving fast. And um, I was driving and as we finished, as we were getting to the, the hill, I just realized, you're breaking the car, And I told the, uh, with my wife and uh, Wilson, and I told, it's like the, the brakes are challenged. We, we have a challenge with the brakes. And I parked aside and uh, tried, and it went now flat. You know the way unakanyaga, unakanyaga mabati. Unajaribu kukimbia. But uh, we thank God it was, it was fixed. We had a petrol station by not very far, the Shell petrol station. We parked, and within like uh, 30 or so minutes, it was done, and we are ready to go. But uh, we couldn't make it to Nairobi. We had to put up some place. Bwana asifuwe sana. And now you can imagine, you are trying to drive as fast as you can. And all of a sudden, when you have slowed down and you have gone the hill, you just realize, Gary Haina break, a testimony of God's faithfulness. Looking what God can do. And I pray, cheer up no more tears for it is well with you in Jesus' name. This week, let's trust God for a, a testimony. That's what you have been longing for. Let's trust God 
uh, for, for, for a testimony. Whatever the problem, whatever the odds, whatever the notices, whatever the medical condition, all contrary report I declare to you as God's vessel of power today and now, uh, from today it shall turn to you for a testimony in Jesus' name. Can I hear amen? amen. Why? Could we read uh, Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11? Kindly in King James, if possible. <laughs> now, these are mm, King uh, Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. For I know the thoughts... Let's read, let's read. For I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, th thoughts of peace, and not of evil to give you an expected end. And that's what the Lord is saying to you as an individual. An expected end. Because he has good plan for you, regardless of the situation. Regardless of the situation you are in. And could we see what a testimony are? And we'll have four, four points and, I'll, and then I'll be done. Testimony, a direct confirmation of the word of God. Testimonies are direct confirmations of the word of God. Mark 16 and verse 20, the Bible says, And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following the signs followed them as they ministered, as they served, as they obeyed. The signs followed them. So, testimonies are direct confirmations of the word. It's like, that's what you believe God for. And that's, you know, you have read the word. And that's what you are sticking to eat. God confirms that. When um, once in a while we, we, we go to Trukana for outreach. And um, when we visit a village and uh, we are gathered and then I, I tell the villagers that this is God who has sent. Whatever provisions we are seeing, it is God who have sent. And I, I remind them, imagine how many villages this food has passed or this provision has passed to come to you because God loves you, because God in heaven cares for you. And it becomes... You know, they, they relate with it so, so very well. Because he provides to his. I was hungry, and you fed me. You give me something to eat. That's the word of God. Point number two. Testimonies are manifestations of the truth of scriptures. Testimonies are manifestations of the truth of scriptures. There is nothing you'll go to, to look outside from the scriptures. Because when you declare that this is the day that the Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And you stop at that. So no matter the challenges that are facing you, but in you, you declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. They are the righteous acts and proves that God is still at work on earth. We can therefore engage testimonies the same way we engage scriptures in warfare in the story 
of David and the, like in the David of story uh, in the like uh, the way David uh, engaged Goriath. Bwana asifuwe sana. You know, when David was facing Goriath, one thing that he, he knew was that he was strong enough. That the Lord God Almighty was in him. And he could tell the moment he faced the lion and he wrestled it down. And the moment he wrestled with the bear and it, it, he overpowered it. So as he was facing Goriath, he was looking back and he could see the testimony. He could see where God has taken him through, the challenges that God has taken him through. And he had the, the courage now to face this giant, regardless of how the Philistines and the Israelites would see Goriath to be. To David, Goriath was nothing. To David, Goriath and his might and his weapons totaled to nothing. Why? He had a testimony of what the Lord has, had taken him through. He, had, he himself was a testimony. He was a testimony himself. God had used him as a testimony. He was the, the example himself. You know, we can use the examples. Like, you know, Bishop in those days. The way they would, uh, um, like, kuna conference in Mombasa. And they are coming from Dika. And they, they are using borrowed trousers and shoes, I think. Yeah? And no pocket. Maybe a corner 10 bob. And he's going to Mombasa. So it's like, you can imagine. No, no, I don't think whether none of any one of us here. At Yusikia kuko na conference, Muranga. Sio sasa wacha Mombasa, Muranga. Then now you want to, pale Roisambu, you, you just now imagine, you get in a matatu, and you just imagine that day, uh, kuna kuripisho ni zasare. But <laughs> I mean, they had testimonies of what God could do. And they moved to the conference, God ministered to them and came back. And any, time, any other time they would hear of another conference, they had a testimony of what God had done and the way he had, he had miraculously provided, and they themselves were a testimony. And then they had the courage. And that's why I say testimonies are manifestations of the truth of the scriptures. Amen? The Bible says in Revelation 12 and, uh, and verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They kept on, that was their song. That was their song. They kept on testifying of the previous conference. And so, any other invitation, or if they would hear of any other conference, they had a testimony. Buona sifuwe sana. And so, uh, the testimonies are manifestations of the truth of the scriptures. It's like we can rely and we can trust uh, the scriptures. Number three. Testimonies are living forces with the ability to, re to reproduce themselves. Testimonies are living forces with the ability to reproduce themselves. Amen. In the book of Matthew chapter 14 and verse 6, or, um, or the book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 20 to 22, we read about the woman with the issue of blood. She believed God. To her, the faith was, she would, you know, no one else wanted to identify with her. Because already she had spent everything that she had. To the community, she was a bother. 
even to the family members. And so, uh, she was like kind of an outcast. But she had heard about Jesus and how she, Jesus was healing people. And so, the only thing that she knew she could do is just to gather her faith. And I like the Bible. I like the Bible. And that's why when I talk that I am a testimony, it's because I have unexpected the end. That's what I'm looking forward for. It's good. So, as I expect, I will not allow any, the, the challenges that I go through to divert my attention of my expected end. So this woman crawled amongst the cloud and touched the hem of Jesus' garment and she was made whole. And you know what? Thereafter, it's like she created way. You know, other, other people could not now seek attention here. I'm an audience na Jesus. Wanamjua anakuja. And so, iyo tu wanajua iyo sasa. Ananyemelea, anaguza, bas. Ya anapokea mujiza wake. Praise the Lord. Why? It's because someone had done so. The blind Bartimaeus just shouted. And he received a testimony. So, could we read um, Matthew 14, 36 kindly? And besought him that they might only touch. And besought him that they, may, they might touch only touch the hem of his garment. And as many as touched were made perfectly whole. It came as a result of this one courageous lady who went through and created a way. There is something that God has done to you or is just about to do to you that will create a platform for others to receive their blessings. And every one of us is a, is, has a potential to be a blessing to someone. To be a blessing not only to the body of Jesus Christ, because as you testify of what the Lord has done, it's like you are lifting the Lord up. And in his due course, he draws men to himself. Simply because you are able to arise, to take breakfast, to dress. Amen? Is a sure testimony. Trukanas amazes me so much. You know, when you go to a house, they are happy, so, so happy. Unangalia nyumba haina kitu. No. Haina kitu. As we struggle with sijui gwe ya blue, sijui gwe ya green, ya yellow, ya red, sijui kiatu ya kuvaa na hii suti, na socks ya... And they are happy. Amen? And when you talk to them, they are, they are good and they are happy the way they are. And when they praise God, they praise God anyhow. So there is that thing that you will do that will turn around to be a testimony or will help someone see the Lord. Amen. Point number four. This is because uh, testimonies are prophetic. Testimonies are prophetic. For the testimony of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy as it was prophesied in the book of Revelation chapter 19. Could we read? Therefore, every testimony here is a pointer to what God has reserved for every one of us. And, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See, 
thou do it not. I am, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that. Amen. What a sweet sana. Good. So it has been prophesied. It has been said. So you will be the confirmation of what has been said. A preacher will come here and speak the word of God. And you will confirm that. Either weeks to come, months to come, or years to come. It is a testimony of what has been said. And because God is not like man, you know, God is not like man. That was has been said. Just believe it. A case scenario is uh, Pharaoh and the children of Israel. When God was just about to um, lead them out, from the captivity, we had a fellow who, who knew that something was about to happen. Something was about to happen. And so he declared that all male boys, all, all, first, all, ma all males, or all boys that are born to Hebrew women to be killed. That was the mind of Pharaoh. And it is in that season when Moses was born. In Exodus chapter 2, we read of Moses, how Moses was born. The mother gave birth, nursed Moses for a while, and uh, when she couldn't hold him or she couldn't hide him any further, made uh, something that could float in water, placed it in a meshy water and left him, left him there. As far as Pharaoh was concerned, he was sure that none of the male or boys, Hebrew boys, could survive. But what was the, the mind of God? What had been said? It is during this season Pharaoh's daughter went, found Moses, fell in love with this boy, sent for someone to take care of this boy. Moses eventually lands in Pharaoh's palace. Moses is brought up, trained up. Then Moses goes to be trained by God now in the wilderness. That what God has planned for you, my sister, my brother. That what has been prophesied over you. Don't you worry about it. Because man, man, binanabu kama mimi. Hey. The expected end will surely come. It will surely come. Pharaoh tried. Na ferot nast alilipia garama. Fero alilipia garama. Ya kulea, kusomesha. The one that God was to use to lead the children of Israel out of captivity. Bwana asifuwe sana. What a testimony of what has been said. Amen. The mercy of God can turn around what meant to harm, harm somebody else to become a blessing. The mercies of God. You know, that what God has ordained will surely come. Let me finish with this uh, testimony. There is this one intercessor who kept on praying and waited on God and trusted God seriously and then was very 
careful to where to apply for a vacancy and applied and got serious regrets and was very bitter with God. Very bitter with God. Why? He had waited on God. He had kept all his time praying after he was through with the college and he had given himself time to intercede for the body of Jesus Christ. And now his time, he felt, now the time has come now for me to uh, be employed. And he thought that vacancy fitted him so, so very well. But he got regrets. And he was bitter about it. He was bitter about it. And in his moment of anguish and anger with God, like now, Hata Maombi Staki, he was bitter almost with every other person. Then he got a call. It's like, we are sorry. We are sorry of what came to you. It wasn't meant for you. You were the best candidate for that position. Bwana Sifuwe sana. And I don't know how, how many times we, 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 we give up. How many times we throw our towels. How many times we talk ill about God and about ourselves when God is about to do or to, to make us a testimony. Bwana Sifuwe sana. May the Lord bless us so very much. Niko na peji mbili zimebakia. Tutamaliza wakati mwingine God giving us time. Could we arise and pray? Our Father and our God, we are so grateful. We honor you, we adore you. And we know that our Father, you have good plans for each one of us, our Father. Lord God Almighty, to lead us to a good expected end, Lord. Our Father, how we pray that you give us the strength uh, to stay on in the situation we are in, our God, because our breakthrough is soon coming, our Father. Lord, we'll testify of your faithfulness and of your goodness. Lord, we thank you that, Lord Eternal, you have a good plan for each one of us in this house. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, our God, that the situation we are in will be a testimony to the glory and honor of your name. That Lord, what you have done to us, our Father, will help someone see the faithfulness of the promise-keeping God that we serve. We honor you and we give you all the praise for your assistance and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 amen.